Welcome, my name is Amanda Harper Leatherman and I'm the director of the base camp at Fairfield University this summer. Base camp is a camp for female high school students and we're hoping to inspire them and teach them about the process and the promise of science and how they can get involved and have a career in science themselves. My name is Dr. Shelley Phelan. I'm a professor of biology here at Fairfield University. And I am affiliated with this program because I was the founder back in 2007. I'm typically the director of the program, but this year I am serving as a faculty mentor. Basecamp stands for Broadening Access to Science Education. The girls come, they are placed into one of five or six research groups where they work with a faculty member on a research project so they get to work the whole first week with that faculty member and um, they're working in groups of four with two undergraduate counselors as well so they get a lot of mentorship. Our goal for the program is to kind of excite the students about the the process of science and hopefully encourage them to really pursue careers in science. Um, we're not trying to cover any body of scientific uh, material that they're not getting in school or give them very specific skill sets, but it's really to um, get them excited about what scientific research is like and really try to um, get some exposure to some possible career paths. Look at like several of the others, and if you feel like how it doesn't represent. Hi, I'm Blanca. I'm with Camp Counselors. Uh, project 3, we're studying how the ocean moves, and right now we're modeling the western boundary current, like the Gulf Stream in um, between like um, the United States and Africa and Europe. Uh, we're trying to like uh, see how the heat in the water like moves in like the patterns uh, by simulating it in a tank. Uh, we're trying to prove the hypothesis that we need wind, continental boundaries, and the rotation of the Earth in order to simulate the Gulf Stream. I really like it. I like working with the cells and like learning all the kind of clever stuff like the pipetting that I was just doing and checking to see if the cells are alive and dead and everything. I decided to come to base camp this summer because I knew it was going to be something interesting and something new. Plus, who doesn't like science? The project we're doing is called Invasion, and we captured a bunch of crabs, measured them, and did a lot of information on them, and then released them into crab habitats. And releasing them into the crab habitats was the funnest thing because you saw them all scatter inside like, yay, I'm home. So what we did was we came down, we collected both species of crab, uh, we brought them back to the lab, we marked them with, with color-coded tags. Uh, yesterday we constructed our crab habitats and we replaced, um, we put the, the tag crabs back into the crab habitats. And then we came back today, 24 hours later, to see who had moved and who hadn't moved. I love working with young people, so, you know, this was a great opportunity to, uh, to get into an outreach program where high school students, is, students were targeted um, and we could also get our undergraduates involved you know in the mentoring uh, so I, it's, it's just been a wonderful experience. I love it. Uh, in many ways it's the highlight of my year. It's in part because the students are so great they really really want to be here. They're so enthusiastic, they're so interested and I mean this is a really esoteric corner of the world and not that many people you know study nematode biology, so to get a chance to share something that I think is so beautiful with other people and have other people find it fascinating and beautiful too is very rewarding. It's okay if you put them like upside down on here. Oh, that's fine, yeah. They don't mind. The most rewarding part for me is probably at the end of the, at the, end of the two week experience in the morning we have the students give oral presentations and they're they're standing up there and they're talking about their research project that they've only been involved in for one week but at a level that um, just always is very impressive and they and seeing them really kind of take ownership so it, it goes from being sort of my project that I'm uh, including them in to really being their project and, and seeing them talk about that with a level of excitement and a level of knowledge and understanding um, that, that we all kind of go in not really expecting or anticipating, that's, is really rewarding.